Fire Giant's Flamethrower In the mountaintops of the Giants lies the Fire Giant, and personally one of my least favorite fights in the entire game. In Phase 2, after the cutscene where Fire Giant rips his own leg off, there is a somewhat rare attack that can happen where Fire Giant opens his mouth and unleashes a line of fire at the player. This attack is almost undodgeable under certain circumstances, as the flamethrower has interesting collision where it can bounce off the terrain in the arena. After bouncing off the terrain, it can redirect and hit the player from a bunch of different absurd angles. If you have time, you can call Torrent and travel up and to the right to circle around this attack. Elden Stars Elden Beast has earned the reputation of a somewhat underwhelming final boss of Elden Ring, almost feeling out of place coming after a fantastic encounter with Radagon. When the player gets Elden Beast to the 50% HP threshold, Elden Beast will cast Elden Stars, an attack that tracks the player wherever they go, pestering you with small projectiles. This attack lasts quite a bit of time, and when combined with other attacks from the beast, it can leave the player in many different and very tough situations, often resulting in the player's demise. There are ways to counter this, however, and the player can stack Holy Defense for this fight to help counter the almost inevitable damage from Elden Stars. But did you know you can actually dodge Elden Stars consistently? If the player stands roughly this far away from Elden Beast and waits until they hear the sound of Elden Beast casting stars, then proceeds to run up and to the right in a straight line, Elden Stars will appear very far away from the player, giving you ample time to create space from the attack while dealing with other attacks Beast throws at you. Waterfowl FromSoft really stepped up their game in Elden Ring when they created the most challenging boss in their catalog to date, Millennia. Found at the bottom of the Halig Tree, Millennia has a very large and impressive moveset, comprised of fast, hard-hitting combos that heal her every time she makes contact with the player. But one of these attacks stands out far from the rest of her moveset, and this attack is Waterfowl. Waterfowl is comprised of a three-attack flurry, where Millennia jumps in the air before flying towards the player, covering a ton of distance in the arena during this time. This attack is absolutely devastating, often stunlocking the player and leading to a death if caught by it. To dodge Waterfowl, it takes a ton of awareness, quick reflexes, and precise movement from the player. There are many different ways to consistently dodge the attack, however, some easier than others. Here's a couple different examples of dodging the Waterfowl. Rykerd's Earthquake Rykerd is a very interesting Elden Ring boss fight, staying in line with FromSoft's classic boss gimmick fight, and offering some of the best and iconic voice lines in the game. The player will have to dodge many different types of attacks during this fight, ranging from poison spurts to flying fires, but one of these attacks stand out more than the rest. In Phase 1, the Serpent can launch a massive Earthquake AoE attack at the player, seemingly hitting you every time no matter what the outcome. There is hope though, if the player can recognize the start of the attack quickly enough, it is possible to sprint and jump the attack very precisely, allowing you to successfully dodge the attack. Deathrite Bird AoE the Deathrite Bird located near Castle Soul in the mountaintops was one of the most annoying experiences I've had in Elden Ring. This boss has an extremely irritating moveset comprised of fast sporadic melee swings combined with frustrating frostfire lingering hitboxes. When the boss gets to roughly 60% HP however, it gains the ability to do one of Elden Ring's most annoying AoE attacks. The attack can only happen when the player is within melee range of the Deathrite Bird, and the bird will wind up before unleashing a devastating AoE explosion, followed by a five-pointed star pattern of frost fire on the ground coming from its body. This attack is very frustrating and tough to see coming while trying to engage the Deathrite Bird, 
But if the player manages to see it in time, try to run away diagonally in front of the death right bird, either to its left or right, as the star pattern will always have the frost fire coming out at the same angles. Did you guys agree with this list? Did I miss any major attacks? Let me know in the comments below and like the video if you do agree with the list. Thanks for watching the video guys. Have a good day.